time it right, we'll see the diamond ring. And then we may see Bailey's beads, these tiny little glistening kind of pearls all around the, the moon, all around the sun. It looks absolutely stunning. And then, of course, totality itself. And we get to see something that we only see during total solar eclipses, which is the corona. So I'm really looking forward to this because this is, they've got cloudless skies. This is looking really good for us, isn't it, it's Svalbard? It really is. Like this, this uh, all, all of the, uh, well, it took a, uh, a planet and a moon and a uh, sun to align here. The stars aligned for Svalbard as well in terms of a really lucky break in terms of just beautiful, a beautiful sky that's showing us all of the aspects of a total solar eclipse, which that's the day that you want to be able to see the sun. And it's, it's, it's so, it's, it's just about there. Uh, are there particular features, like you, you listed a lot, you're talking about Bailey's Veeds, you were talking about the corona. Is there something that you're particularly excited to see as we're counting down right now to totality? Well, I think it's got to be any prominences because those prominences, they're, they're such a vivid color. And if, if, we, if we're lucky enough to see some, so these are these jets of high energy, high energy particles streaming off the sun. And they can be the most extraordinary colors. We've heard Duncan, we've heard Matt Francis from Arizona. You've heard me describe these amazing colors you know, during totality. And what was interesting, I think, Eric, was Matt said that viewing them through his solar telescopes, which he does for our live shows, seeing them at totality was totally, totally different, you know? And, and that's the message that you get from anyone that we're talking about, talking to here, that totality cannot be judged against anything else. So anybody in Europe who's seeing a partial solar eclipse, it's nothing. Matt is saying that is absolutely nothing in comparison to a total solar eclipse. So that's why we're bringing it to the world. If, you, if you're not either in the Faroe Islands or Svalbard, you can see it here. And here we go. We're only minutes away, two minutes and 43 seconds. And we see this sliver getting so tiny and just disappearing, just little, little specks by little specks. And it's just getting so tiny there. It's, it's, it's an incredible moment. I can't really look away because I, I think the moment I look away is the moment it's going to disappear. It is is getting so close there to totality. Eric, sh shall we uh, shall we leave our faces off the screen just in case they're going to whip this filter off and we may see the corona? We don't mm. want to have our ugly mug. That's a good well, idea. My ugly mug in the way. <laughs> so here we so, are. Oh wow! Two minutes from totality yeah, in Svalbard. Yeah. People across the world viewing with us in unison. Something that couldn't be done decades before. We are doing something. We are sharing in a celestial event that is only in one place geographically, but for all of us, we can take part of it across the world. And that's such Here a profound experience. Join us wow, today this, as we experience this, totality in Svalbard. Beautiful, Eric. Absolutely beautiful. <sighs> Minute and a half away. A, that's such a fine crescent, isn't it? Such a fine crescent. It's just a sliver, just a moment away. And it just keeps disappearing slowly, slowly, and so quickly, too. It'll be gone in just a moment. But then we get to see the really exciting stuff. This is wonderful, Eric. Just the edge of a sliver. I didn't know a sliver could get that small. We I are now a I minute away it, 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 from totality in Svalbard. It's extraordinary how minuscule that is it is creeping and creeping and once you think it can't get any smaller it gets more <laughs> it small keeps going. i've never seen this eric i've seen so many you know so much footage so many uh, eclipses when this is happening but i've never seen this tiny tiny sliver now they're probably going to get ready to remove the filter any minute now so we get to see the sun at totality. It's there. This is it's utterly there. amazing. It's there. 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 And it's gone. Right. Now, are they going to change the filter for us? Please. We wait. And... Oh! There it goes. Oh, Whoa. goodness. That is Utterly fantastic, isn't it? There's the oh, corona. There are the God. prominences we've been talking about. 
Wonderful. This is totality from Svalbard. And look at the side, the top left corner, you see hints of the Bailey's beads right there. Isn't that right? Absolutely. And we've got these, those are the Bailey's beads just disappearing. But we can also see this beautiful corona, the outer atmosphere of the sun, which we can only see during a total eclipse of the sun. We didn't even know about it until people witnessed total solar eclipses. Absolutely stunning images from Svalbard of this total solar eclipse. Ladies and gentlemen, this right now, we are witnessing in its total complete glory what is a total solar eclipse, the complete blocking of the sun from this moon. And it's just flowering. The corona is flowering outward. And it's really, it's an incredible, incredible sight to see. It's so, so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And just I think take actually that. what what we've got there, Eric, is we've got a couple of prominences. Uh, that are showing up at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock on the solar disk. Absolutely beautiful. And we're silent right here because really the sun and the moon at this point are speaking enough for us. This is, just soak this in. This is beautiful. A total solar eclipse is that moment of hush, of awe, as you're seeing something so you know, antithetical to what you've normally seen in the sky. It's, it's this magical moment that brings you into a whole incredible other sphere of how, how celestial events work, how day and night work. Oh, there's the there diamond ring. The diamond it's coming. Ring. Wonderful. Wow. Absolutely that is wonderful. That's called third contact. That's when the moon just moves away from covering the sun. And that first brilliant spot of light from the sun returns to Earth. Then this is what I would call a totality. We saw all, we saw Bailey's beads, we saw promises, prominences. We're seeing right now the diamond diamond ring is at first I didn't think of this but you see it it looks like it is a diamond ring you see the diamond on the edge of it the ring is around the whole uh, sun and so it, it, it it's called view wonderful absolutely gorgeous and I, I, I'm betting they're putting the filter back on right now Paul yep that will be it that what that's what they would have done so until the, the sun actually gets brighter uh, we won't actually see that but we will see that thin edge, that thin crescent re-emerge. But what wonderful sights from Svalbard. Absolutely amazing. And one thing that I wanted to share with you is a very special image that uh, Matt Francis just uh, showed with us as well that shows a very great example of this diamond ring. Here it is right here. Uh, as, we're, as we're experiencing you know, what totality 